even here, probably 50 to sort of 70 mile an hour winds, I reckon. But it's hit the UK really badly down in the south. They're experiencing some, some really, really horrific conditions down there. So I'm staying in the north. I'm heading up to Red Tarn, which is uh, just below the summit of Helvellyn. So hopefully I'll find a little bit of a cover there from these winds as uh, it sort of sits in a bowl. It's not guaranteed, and I guarantee them for you guys it's definitely going to be some wild weather. They has given snow, as I say, winds, and I just need to get myself up there, get the tent up, make sure that me and the dog are totally safe, and then get to experience the lovely power of Mother Nature. I really feel like I want to get out in it. I'm, I'm a charged battery. I've had my car in the uh, garage for two weeks and I've been stranded. So this is me absolutely desperate just to get out and breathe and just be part of all this. So anyway, let's get ourselves up there. just sort of reached the snow line we're at about 400 meters above sea level here and if you look in the background we've got Saint Sunday Crag there just looking absolutely stunning I turn around back down to Walls Water Glen Ridding but what a place it's uh, not below freezing yet because I'm walking on the snow and it is still soft very nice to have the ice axe with me for definite just as a steadying tool but if it gets a uh, crispier and slippier then I've got some uh, decent micro spikes that I'll be putting on just to make sure that I've got the grip on this but yeah yes <laughs> this is it eh? this is it myself over this wall and uh, put on my ski gear on so goggles complete necessity today you just cannot see a thing I've also got some uh, full cell of pets waterproof jacket all that gear so at least I'm sort of out of the weather and we're gonna continue on a little bit further to just see because realistically there is not a chance I'm gonna get to pitch a tent in this it's just too wild I mean just over there there's definitely 60 mile an hour plus winds and um, it just it's just an impossibility so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn this into a really nice enjoyable walk and then um if we find somewhere we can pitch great if not we'll just go back down but i mean look at this 
You can see all the spin drift here, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> right, let's bash on up there somewhere. We go there's hill valley in the background a little bit of cloud cover on it but it's just wild Quite proper wild is this one this side of the wall is bearable but over there you just can't even stand up so we might just continue along this wall for a little bit further and just see i mean we could potentially just pitch the tent behind the wall and just get a bit of protection from that but if the wind changes direction, then it's just going to make this probably worse, so... Got to be a bit careful, that's all. <laughs> it is lovely to be out in it though, it really is. Us there, there's not a chance of a new stride there today. Oh, this might be as far as I come because it's okay walking on this side of the wall that we've come across, but on the other side, it's just impossible to stand up. So, what I'm going to do is just go have a, a quick wander around here, see what it's like, and then probably head back. And just if I can, I'll find somewhere to pitch a tent and then uh, at least uh, get nestled in for the night. <laughs> it's crazy though, what a wild one. It is wild. Mother Nature at her finest. Love the woman, absolutely love her. to be out. I really feel like I'm living in this. I've been cooped up for a couple of weeks. I am honestly just desperate for this. Just to feel alive again. It's all I want, just to feel alive again. <sighs> there we go, the wind's just stopped for me. <laughs> Beautiful. What a place though. Got cats to cam there. There's hell valley in the background with just cloud all over it. Striding edges up this one, but yes, whoa, tripping over. Just fantastic. Ah. I purposely chose to come to Red Town today, knowing that there was a storm coming in, but also knowing that potentially it is a place where, because it sort of sits in like a bowl, but it almost takes the uh, edge of the wind off. To be honest, the closer I'm getting, the less wind there is. 
So you never know, I might be actually be able to do this. I mean, safety first, 100% every time, but yeah, hardly anything now compared to back there, which was just, you could, honestly couldn't stand up. If I didn't have this uh, uh, axe thing, ice axe, I'd have fallen over several times then, completely. So, yep, it's looking promising, you never know. I just get excited of these things all the time, just excited. Here we are then, at Red Town. And the uh, wind is coming from over the top of Helvellyn and Cats the Cam really, the direction. So, as you can see, it's still sort of hammering quite hard, but it's quite a flat plane here to actually allow the wind speed to build. The ideal place on the far side of this, where I've come before, so I think what I'll do is, I might get myself around there, see what it's like. If it's still too windy, then yeah, we'll be heading back. What do you say, Blue? Hey, good lad. Go on. Still completely unfazed. It really doesn't bother him. Yeah, look at this. Got a footprint left, so someone must have had to ditch quite quickly to get out of here. But it is a no disc Telemark 2. So, not quite leave no trace, but if it was an emergency situation, obviously they've got themselves out of here as fast as they can. Anyway, I'll gather this up because um, I might have a use for it, you never know. Might be able to use it in these uh, storm conditions. Well, here we are, the far side of the Red Town. Now the wind does not know which way to blow, so it keeps going all directions, but it's not that windy. Now, yes, it could be like a lull in the storm and another big front could come across, but I actually feel that we're quite protected here. If you can see, I've got this massive rock on this side, which is total protection. And I think I'll have enough space to pitch my tent here. Got a tiny little stream there, so we've got a water supply and a toilet potentially. <laughs> do it old school like they used to do. Wean to streams. Ah. There we go. I made it. I made it to what I wanted to do and I'm glad I have because, you know, if I'd have backed out back there, I wouldn't be here, would I? So, and I'm not saying push yourself beyond your limits, but I was very prepared to leave and go home and I still am. But I just thought I'd have a look and just, you know, test the water, as, as they say. Um, not literally, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting in there. But um, yeah, I'm here now and I'm going to pitch my tent and we'll see how we get on with it.
here, come here. There's a good boy. Hey. Go on then, get on, get on. tent let me flick these off oh wow it's another world now <laughs> oh brilliant anyway a quick look around i've got the trusty steed i revived her i gave her mouth to mouth and a bit of a chest pounding and she's absolutely fine now but there we go set up tightly in against this rock as tight as I could go with the guys and everything and obviously this side as well we've got this stream running up here so <laughs> in the morning I'll step out of the door straight into that which is good just need to remember that one Oof. but I think she sat there safely soundly I've uh, put the yellow ground anchors whatever they're called in delta pegs in and then the spare pegs I've got my aluminium ones, I've double pegged the pegs on the the rest of them. You know what I mean. Ah, anyway, let's get our kit in, get dry, sorted out, and uh, yeah, just enjoy what this is. I mean, look, look at this. Edge of Red Town in the Lake District. What a fantastic place. It's just amazing. Looking over that lake there, the um, town, the spin drift is just incredible at times. Swirling up and just well. I might as well sort of stay out and just uh, take all this in really for a minute because so far it's been a bit of a, a challenge just to get myself here and set everything up you see so just nice to sit back and just be part of it all I love it I do I love it tell you what though I am so glad I can't, packed all my speed <laughs> I can't even talk packed all my ski stuff so I've got my ski goggles on ski cellar pets and these are like a full Gore-Tex layer so you know I'm, I'm very very safe in this kit definitely and these conditions are unforgiving it's just one of them places as well that you just have to be really careful of coming to but look at it just stunning isn't it just that's it it is just stunning.
but I think I made an all right choice here. It did say the winds were going to die off a little bit by sort of five, six o'clock, and it's just after five now. And it's a bit blustery here and there, but it's not bad really. So um, yeah, I think I, I should be all right for the night, not really with any issue. The tent is pitched well, that's the main thing. Lots of pegs in, all that sort of game. Um, so yeah, just a case of chilling out. Look at this though, I mean, Helvellyn up there, just fantastic. And as it drops down onto Striding Edge all the way along here. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> This is it. This is it. Yes. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's actually really quiet. It's just occasionally you just get a little bit of blustery section like that. So yeah, I think I'll be all right, really. Blue's just cleaning himself, if you can hear some slavering going on. And I've got the white noise of the stream just trickling by next to me, which is quite nice. An occasional white noise of the white snow smashing the tent as well. <laughs> hey. Anyway, that took effort just uh, not pitching the tent, all that was fine. Once I got in and just had to unload everything, and I'm in it, the dog's in it, all the kit's in it, just small, you know, just trying to get it all sort of sorted. Um, I've about fathomed it, I've got all my sort of waterproofs just outside here, in the sort of porch area. Dog's in the porch at that side. Bag's at the end, I've got loads of gear in the little triangle bit just behind me here. And then uh, I've put this up against my little uh, fold chair thing that I've got uh, just which is brilliant just allows me to sort of sit back against it so yeah I'm in I'm happy all is good I'm thirsty that's why I am I need a drink ah yeah definitely oh yes when you're out messing about doing these things you never sort of reach for your bottle just because it's always a bit of a chore to do so. So yeah, you always end up quite parched by the end of it. Ah, I'm hungry as well, actually. Yeah, let's go through my food bag, eh? So I've got some tea bags. This is what I'm gonna eat. Look at that, some baby food. Banana and apple. They're really nice though, things like that. I used to eat loads of those at university. I have got steak and vegetables, minced beef hot pot, some rice, I think, some sort of thing like that, some pasta, and that pasta I can mix in with that, which I'll probably have tonight to be honest, meatballs and pasta, what else have I got, chocolate bar which I might have with a cup of tea, Oh, I've got another chocolate bar, that's good. And a soft bake thing, just a little snack. And just a random vanilla chai tea. So that should uh, <laughs> keep me happy. It is for two nights. Knowing it was a storm, I um, I was planning on coming out for one night, but I've packed for two. Pack for two nights, uh, food-wise, just in case, because you just never know, you might get stranded out here, so I don't want to be starving hungry. But I think it's going to be all right, to be fair. It seems fairly placid, we will go with. <sighs> yep. So I think, quick snack, which is going to be my, what did I say, banana and apples. Oh, here's something else I've got as well. This is just a meal replacement, high protein meal replacement, which I think is quite a good shout to take on something like this. This is by CNP, um, but the fact that you're going to have quite an amount, uh, amount of calories in there, and obviously there's some decent things uh, which you'll need anyway, 
uh, all these sort of vitamins and minerals and things like that which is good so um it's not a bad shout the only thing is it's powder so you add the water to it but it's then making that into a shake normally you put it in one of those shakers and give it a right good shake and it comes out like beautifully smooth up here might be a bit difficult because i'll be whisking it with a fork or something like that but it's still got the same nutritional value and uh even if it goes down a bit lumpy but yeah not a bad shout really just as a, a bonus sort of extra thing that you might need in an emergency really anyway let's get back to the baby food Ugh. oh my god <laughs> that is so good really nice is that man i want to go back to being a baby <laughs> Oh, it's chilly. It's taken me a while to actually get warm. Blue seems all right, but I have put the foil blanket over him, so he's quite happy, I think. Anyway, it's time for dinner. So I'm gonna tear this open, get it in the pan, and get it on without making a mess, hopefully. Let's bang this one in as well. Nice and easy that one. A couple of dog hairs in there. Right, can you just stay there, Blue? Let's get this lit. Whoa. I let that uh, <laughs> go on a bit too much. Right, there we go. I'll just show you how I'm cooking. You can see I've got the uh, stove sat on my snow shovel so just at least it keeps it off the ground and nice and solid so yeah snow shovel doubling up to do two different jobs Good, excited. Quite a nice combo this, I like it. Mm. You're watching me through my washing line. Got my goggles here, drying. My pair of gloves. And my hat, or cap. That's just sat here as well. Just airing out a little bit. But this has uh, made a bit of moisture in here for definite. It's not too bad on the inside here, but on that external fly sheet, it's actually freezing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's cold. This is nice to have my hands around, really. Nice cup of tea. It's not Yorkshire tea, though. I'm afraid to say it is a lemon chai. No green tea with lemon that's what it is but to be honest it's pretty nice and obviously you don't need to have milk with it you don't need to carry the milk so it's going down well yes this is storm Eunice it's not been much of a storm but to be honest I did sort of uh, choose to come up here because it's uh, quite a sheltered ball at times because it's sort of on three sides there is a very high wall of striding edge on one side, Helvelling summit on the other, and then swivel edge on the left hand side there. So, although you do get quite a lot of wind forming in these sorts of areas, it's a little bit more protected than being on a summit. So, I thought it'd be perfect for it, really, anyway. But, um, setting off, honestly, when I uh, I set off and I was thinking, oh, it's pretty windy, not too bad, and then, um I sort of uh, just came over the brow where you can just start to see Helvellyn 
and it was like hitting a wall, complete wall. I was leaning into the wind and just not going forwards. And that um, ice axe I had saved me a few times because that was keeping me upright. You know, I could use that as a, a steadying tool, which was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. The dog was, he was happy with it. A couple of times he sort of looked at me thinking like, what we're we doing, come on, this is crazy. But um, when we uh, got to the other side of the wall, I just, there was no way I could have continued uh, walking the way we were. So I headed for the wall and climbed over that. And then on the other side of the wall, there was a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it? Spin drift, maybe. So there's loads of sort of like snow flying about. And when it hit you at sort of 60 miles an hour, it really hurt, it did. So getting the goggles on was complete necessity. Um, there's no chance that I got up without those goggles on. Not a chance at all. So definitely uh, worth carrying. That's it though. You only get like five seconds and it's gone. Ah, yeah. But yeah, once I got these sort of uh, ski kits on, goggles and my um, Celepets and like a Gore-Tex set of Celepets and my Gore-Tex jacket and all that. Um, I, was, I wasn't too bad at all really. Um, it was just staying upright. But other side of that wall, as I say, carried on, got to the hole in the wall and then from that point I thought I was honestly going to turn back. I was going to turn back and uh, go back, back down and forget camping because I just thought there is no chance. Too dangerous. But when I got to the hole in the wall, it, I could sort of see that the wind was starting to die down slightly and I thought I'll just walk along to Red Town and just sort of see what's happening. If it's okay there then we'll we'll head back. Uh, <laughs> sorry. If it's okay then we'll stay but I didn't see there'd be any chance of it. But the closer I got to it the less wind there was so it was fantastic really and I just thought yeah let's do it. So here I am in this trusty tent that I've smashed about quite a few times really. Yeah, it's a good tent. It's done its job, definitely. But, so I've got a new tent coming. I am well excited about this. I've been offered a tent by Terra Nova and they seemed like a really, really quality company. I mean, all their kit, you'll know the brand just because, you know, they've done expedition tents for the last sort of 30, 40 years, something like that, which um, have been used all around the world in some very extreme conditions. So I am excited to test out the tent they provide me. And uh, obviously I'll be putting it through its paces, without doubt. Yes, definitely uh, nice getting new tents though. It's just one of those things, it's exciting. I don't, I don't know why, it's a bit of a weird thing really. I don't know if there's other people out there like me, but I do get very excited about new kit. But I also get excited about using it properly as well. You know, really, putting it through its paces as I say. <sighs> so yes, that's a good one. Anyway, I am gonna continue drinking this tea and just sit back and relax, I think. Got that trickling water in my left ear, which is nice. And then just the occasional blast of wind and snow that just keeps hitting the tent. It's a simple life. That's what it's all about, eh? This is it. This is what it's about, definitely. There we go, that snow shovel's coming in handy again. Multi-use piece of kit. Well, I've just been out for the final time this evening and it still is pretty wild out there at times. Most of the time it's fairly just calm, but all of a sudden there'll be a, a gust come through and it just picks up loads of snow and just chucks it out of the tent or at me. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, just out with the Phoenix head torch again. 
Yeah, just mega. Absolutely brilliant head torch. Nice to sort of uh, have that trust in your equipment, definitely. Um, this uh, snow keeps sort of blowing underneath. So what I've done is, if you can see here, I've actually used my jacket as a way of just sort of stopping the snow coming in, which is helping, but it's not perfect. And then what I've done with blue is, this is the ground sheet that I found, uh, this Telemark ground sheet. And I've wrapped it underneath him and could then brought it right up and over the top and almost formed a bivvy. And obviously with this foil blanket, it just makes him nice and warm. Hey, Blue. Yeah, he's a comfortable thing here. Look at him. What a beautiful dog. <sighs> so, that's it then. Time to lay this lug. But yeah, what a fantastic day. I just love getting out in it all. It's just, it makes me happy. It really does make me happy. And yes, it's a little extreme coming out in a storm, but you know, for anybody out there, just, it, it doesn't have to be a storm. Just get yourself outside and just enjoy mother nature. And just the landscape we have, especially here, you know, in the UK, we've got some beautiful places to go visit. So get on Google and see what there is out there to go look at. Anyway, we'll see thee in the morning. Morning flowers. Well, that was a decent night's sleep. I woke up a few times just from the tent taking a absolute battering for a few seconds which was just really loud especially with the uh, snow that was sort of being fired against it but I've woke up this morning and the tent inside is so wet the condensation is terrible I think it's a combination of both of us being in here obviously breathing but obviously the temperature differential between inside and outside but also the sort of bit of a uh, snow that sort of like found its way in and blown up and over onto the top of this sort of inner sheet and then with the heat of us has just sort of melted it so then it soaked through dripped onto my sleeping bag my sleeping bag's pretty wet so yeah not the best you know and then you wake up and you've got all this gear just wet everywhere and it's like oh where do i start i honestly don't even know where to start so i think best idea is just to get dressed get the uh, outdoor gear on and then get ourselves outside and see what the world has to offer us today hey blue Go on. Look at that, eh? What a fantastic place. I'm a lucky man, I'm a very lucky man. It's a chilly one, there's a, a slight breeze, but not much, but I mean, this is just idyllic. It really is. There's somebody walking up there. I've seen a few other people just dotted around trying to do the horseshoe loop up Swirrel Ledge onto the top of the beautiful Helvellyn from this side especially, and then back down Striding edge all the way along here. Oh yes, what a place. What a place to be, what a place to wake up. Just fantastic. I've got the dog that just wants to play with me, he keeps like bringing me stones and things. He just wants to play fetch. Yeah, he's a happy dog. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes.
Well, I'm sort of half packed up. I've just got the tent to put away and a couple other bits. Obviously, it's just a case of trying to get everything to fit back in my bag. It's always awkward because it's easy to pack at home and make it all fit. But then as soon as you get out and everything's aerated, it is a, a tricky one. And also, I've got the footprint that I found that I'm going to take back. Um, and also this as well. I found uh, someone had brought a shovel up and just left it. So no point leaving it out here litter picking and all that anyway let's get this tent away there we go all packed up ready to go we have got one little melted spot of snow where our bodies have been and that's about it and the rest of it leave no trace in fact, I'm uh, taking some items back down the mountain with me just to litter pick, make sure that we're looking after our lovely world, eh? But it is time to go, in it, Blue? Hey, gonna lead the way. So there we are, the beautiful, calm and peaceful red town compared to yesterday. It's just sat under the mighty Helvellyn. What a night. Yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. So nice to get out and just 
be part of it all. As I've already said, I was desperate for it after being not housebound, but just having two weeks without a car and not being able to get anywhere. Exciting. Ah. Anyway, if you've liked the video, let's give it one of those big fat thumbs up. So I am going to keep progressing with this channel. So the next job for me is to set up Patreon. I'm almost there with it. So in the near future, if you're interested and you want to sort of contribute towards the channel, that'd be a great way of doing it. And in return, I'm going to make sure that you guys are going to get a package worth paying for. So I'll set up a Facebook group, which will be good because then we can share information about kit, you know, places to go, all that sort of thing. And just to make sure that we're all helping each other out and it's just a positive positive place to be. Also, I'll uh, start doing some lives, which will be good. So you can ask me questions and we can just have a nice chat about things and just, again, just helping each other out. <sighs> yeah, what a place, eh? What an amazing place. Anyway, I need to get myself off this mountain. Blue is ready to go. I'm ready to go. And then we are gonna get on with the next adventure. So from me, from the beautiful blue, we'll see you another time. Take care.